U.S. military bases in Europe tonight are beefing up their security measures over growing safety concerns in the wake of the Paris attacks and other terror arrests across Europe. Our senior political reporter Scott Thuman has been looking into what that means. He's in our newsroom tonight with details. Scott. Allison Leon, according to at least one media account, that's about 90,000 U.S. military who fall under these additional security measures. The Pentagon not saying what specific improvements are being made right now and also stresses no specific threat, but there's obviously plenty of worry tonight. The airstrikes taking a significant toll tonight on Islamic State leadership, according to Secretary Kerry at a strategy session in London. Almost 2,000 strikes in Syria and Iraq have had a high degree of precision and accuracy. We are taking out Daesh's fighters in the thousands. Roughly 50% of the terror group's top command wiped out and taking back about 270 square miles that had been lost to insurgents in Iraq. But those inspired to join the fight are also increasing, and in light of what happened in Paris this month, U.S. military in Europe is upping its security, worried of possible attacks. It's been a, a threat, and it's a reality, and we uh, have been well aware of that. We are well aware of it. Defeating the ideology behind the threat more difficult than the physical fight, and while the U.S. is sending Iraqis more ammo and armed vehicles, Iraq says it's not enough. With oil prices plummeting around the world, they stand to lose billions and want more than guns. They want green. I'm personally here to get more support from our partners. Meanwhile, more chaos in neighboring Yemen, where today the president and much of the government resigned as rebels take hold. And nearby, U.S. military ships on standby in case Americans there are in need of evacuation. And we're working closely with our State Department colleagues uh, to watch and monitor the situation. Now, back to those resources that the U.S. is providing the Iraqis. We've got a breakdown for you here. $208 million in humanitarian support, 250-plus MRAPs, those tougher mine-resistant vehicles, and a large private number of M16 rifles that the U.S. military currently uses. That'll be used to replace the AK-47s that most Iraqis are using right now. Leon? All right, thank you, Scott.